Hello guys, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be creating our first route. Okay, hold on a minute. Didn't we just do that the last time? Yes, we made our route definition, but actually that URL does not have its own route in the sense that, okay, let's just start coding and everything should be clear. All right, so let's say we wanted our application to handle stuff like clicks. So if you remember from the last tutorial video, we have a first route here called first route. And we're going to make sure that anytime that we click on this H2 here that says our route, we want to put up an alert saying H H2 clicked. So in Ember um, templates, there it, it all works using handlebars, uh, which will get to in another video but for now if you want to call an action inside your controller or your route what you do is just type um, curly braces this two that tells handlebars that i'm trying to do something ember related so you just say action and then whatever action you want to call you put it in strings so let's say um header clicked but so what's the issue here? When we run this and we in the browser, Ember will scream at us and tell us that we don't do not have a handler for that click event. So let's just um, refresh the browser here. And when I click this and look at the console, Ember will say nothing handled the uh, action handle click header clicked. So let's go back in our code and actually rectify that. So we can um, define actions in two places. First, either in our route or in our controller. Mostly you'd wanna, it depends how you wanna structure your application, but I normally put it in controller. But just because we are explaining how the route works, we'll put it in the route, and in a later video, we'll try the controller. So by convention, um, whatever you've named your route, let's say if the route has two parts, you want to normally camel case them, but um, with the, instead of starting with a small letter, you start with a capital letter. So in this case, we'll say, app dot first route and ember will automatically associate this route name with this route here so this is the route definition and this is the actual route which if we didn't create ember will do for us anyway but we have to override it since we want to give it more um, uh, custom work to do so first route equal to ember dot route dot extend and anytime you're defining a route, you have to extend the Ember router. So in here, if we want to create an action, we just create a property called actions, and it's a hash. And inside the hash, we can create any event handler we want. So in this case, we want to create the header clicked event handler. So we'll create it here, and it's going to be a function. So when we click on the header, now this function should run. And inside it, let's put an alert there saying header clicked. So let's go back in our browser. We refresh this page. So now when we click, if everything goes right, we should see an alert pop up. So click and an alert didn't pop up. So let's see what happened. It says nothing handled the action header clicked. So let's go back in this and see what happened. Ah, uh, okay. This brings me to something else. Okay, since we named this first route, um, we actually have to add something called route at the end as well, so Ember knows that it's a route. And the reason for that is if we did remove these first here and just call it first, we wouldn't, sorry, we wouldn't need this second route. But since there's a route after first route, this first route is actually part of the route name and route at the end just tells Ember that this is actually a route. So in this case, we will, um, just leave first route there just as an education for all of us this normally this kind of doesn't make sense because you wouldn't want to say first route route but for education purposes let's leave it there and when you refresh now let's click here we should get the alert okay so that works now alert pop up so basically that's what an ember route does for you if you want to add behavior and stuff like if you want your route to have a special model associated with it as um this each loop here which is associated with the index route 
we'll come to models in another video but just a snippet to explain to you what an ember route does all right so in the next video we'll have a look at something else maybe a controller and we've actually attached this action to the controller and i'll explain something special about controllers okay so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in another video bye